Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to our channel. And today we are gonna be checking out QNAP's fully managed 2.5 gigabit rack mountable switch. So let's get started. So by far, this is the biggest upgrade I could do to my home network as well as my 10 inch rack because this fits perfectly in there. It's actually made for that. And it also supports 10 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit fully managed. Now I do wanna thank QNAP for sending this over to me and I will leave a link down in the description below. Now, honestly, I was actually waiting for a few months for this rack to come out and I was gonna purchase it myself, but I reached out to QNAP. They offered to send one to me to take a look at. And I gotta say, I am in love with this guy. Did this send me another switch earlier last year, which is very similar, it has eight ports one gigabit and then four ports 10 gigabits while that works really really well for my NAS setup because I have a 10 gigabit NAS uh, this is going to be even better because all eight ports in the front are 2.5 gigabit to be honest this is a little bit on the pricier side as far as home switches go because it is about 399 compared to the other router that I reviewed which I think that was 299 but you get the added benefit of actually wiring eight ports up to 2.5 gigabits and you're wondering why I need so much speed when my internet doesn't even support it now I do a lot of editing at home and a lot of big file transfers back and forth and having this type of speed on a switch as well as a 10 gigabit computer also a 10 gigabit NAS allows me to edit directly off the NAS without having to move files back and forth from my computer to another location so I absolutely need something with this speed but for your situation it really depends so I'm not necessarily using this upgraded speed just for the internet itself but more for internal use or office use. Having a managed switch also allows me to bond ports so I could actually use two ports at the same time for a specific device. This way I could increase the throughput of that. So if I'm transferring from two different locations, I won't have a bottleneck and lowering that speed. That is justifiable for me and I've seen an increase since I started using 2.5 gigabit. My workflow has been a lot better and now I'm gonna be able to upgrade everything to 10 gigabit. It's gonna be even better than that. I was able to use full speed on the eight port 2.5 gigabit uh, ports and I'm using using Sabrent's 2.5 gigabit USB adapters for certain computers that don't have 2.5 gigabit support. Now newer motherboards are supporting the 2.5 gigabit up to five gigabit. So depending on what type of motherboard you have, you might already have that connection. And then I use these two ports for 10 gigabit, one directly to the NAS and the other one directly to another 10 gigabit switch. And then I share that to my desktop computer. And yes, I was able to get full 10 gigabit speeds with this using the latest QNAP NAS that they also provided me. And I will be doing a full review on this guy as well because it is Ryzen and I'm super excited to be playing around with it. And also the fact that since it's Ryzen, uh, the whole transcoding thing works completely different. So yeah, I will be making a video on that as well. The whole exciting part about this managed switch is that it fits perfectly on my 10 inch rack. So this is gonna be complete, which means as far as the switch goes, I am complete, I am done on that section. Not only does this support my 10 inch rack, it also comes with a rack kit so you could put it on a 19 inch rack. I, I still have a few more projects coming out for this 10 inch rack. I do still need to make that fan controller using the Raspberry Pi Pico, but I do currently have a few projects at hand. So I, I kind of like, I'm tossing stuff around. Now, as far as the construction on this guy, you do have the management port on one side, eight ports, uh, 2.5 gigabit, uh, two ports, 10 gigabit. It also supports SFP plus. It's uh, aluminum in construction and it's got some weight to it along with two fans in the back to keep it cool. It is using a standard power cord like you would find on a computer, so you don't need special adapters like the other routers do. And all in all, this is a very compact design. The 10 gigabit ports does have five port switching speeds, so you could actually do 10 gigabits, five gigabits, 2.5, and also gigabit, and 10, 100 for the lowest speed. But yes, it does have automatic switching for the speeds on the 10 gigabits, as well as the 2.5 gigabits, you could go from 2.5 to one gigabit. The user interface on this is pretty simple to manage, uh, so it's very um, intuitive. It wasn't very confusing. I didn't have to learn something new just to configure how to get the uh, ports to bond and everything. So it, it is pretty easy to manage. You can also manage physical ports. So you can, if you want to block one entire port, so it also supports VLANs, but keep in mind, this is only a switch. It does not do DHCP or anything. You need a firewall or router for that. Ultimately in my network, it works really well. If you guys are interested in upgrading your home network uh, or your office network, this is a by far a very good upgrade because the whole eight port 2.5 gigabit and the two gig 10 gigabit ports, it, it's really good. And if you have any questions about this, hit me up in the comments down below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.